life by faith this morning. The power of God. Acts 10, 38 says, How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that some manners of sickness and disease and everyone that was oppressed of the devil. John said the reason why he was made manifest in the flesh was to destroy all works of the devil. Not so. He was made manifest in the flesh to destroy every works of the devil. His body was broken so that yours and mine can and will be mended. His blood was shed so the blood can counteract every voice that is contrary to the voice of Christ concerning your destiny. The Bible said, for the blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of Abel. And so every word of condemnation, criticism that has gone against you, there is a voice of a higher authority. The word also says in the book of Psalm, it said the angels of God, they are mighty in strength, and they hearken unto the voice of the word. The voice simply means, the voice simply means, a voice is different from an echo. A voice is any sound with authority and with power. And so when the blood speaks, it speaks power, it speaks authority, it speaks grace, it speaks mercy, it speaks restoration, it speaks healing. So we take, we approach the throne of grace this morning together by faith. By faith. By faith. He said, let, therefore, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace. So as we take this communion together, you're going to be silent. Father God will sanctify every element in our head will speak by faith into every cup, every breath, mouthful in our hand. We use it as a point of contact by faith to approach the throne of grace, to obtain grace, to find help, mercy today. By faith we decree that this is the body of Christ broken for us. By faith we say, this is the blood of Jesus shed for us. Take, go. Now, I'm going to, we're just going to sit quietly for five minutes. We're going to begin to ask God to touch that part of your body that part of your mind, that part of your emotion, wherever you are feeling pain right now, I just want you to lay your hand there. And I want you to close your eyes if you're going through an emotional turmoil right now. Don't let your children, if they are running around, don't bother with them. There is nothing they can break in the house yet. So just focus. Just let them be kids. Don't worry about it, let them go around. But I want just you to just focus. I want you to see Jesus walking towards you right now and touching you, rocking you, speaking tenderly to you in the name of Jesus. Jesus love beside you. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to give me love. May I strong. Yes, Jesus loves me.
coming. Yes, Jesus loves me. Facebook, I want you to just go do the same thing, just close your eyes and just begin to see the throne of grace. Just see Jesus walking towards you right now because I see him doing that this morning. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves you and he's so committed to you right now that he's not willing to leave you the way he met you. He wants to change everything about you both spiritually, physically and otherwise. He wants to bring total healing and restoration to your mind. He wants to break that addiction. He wants to break that habit. He wants to break that evil forces or spell over your life. He wants to lift every embargo that is upon you and your family this morning. He wants to turn around that captivity and fill your mouth with laughter. He wants to heal now. That tumor, that un, 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 undiagnosed pain in your body right now. I see Jesus touching you. As we are saying this for the last time. And as we do this, I want you to know that Jesus, wherever the pain is, whether it be it your back, be it your head, if you're going through an emotional tumor or relational, I want you to put your hand on your chest and your heart. If you're going through pain in your body, if the doctors have diagnosed something that they can't even detect, if your sickness has to do with your mind, put your hand on your, your hand on your head. If it has to do with depression, anxiety, listen to me, child of God, you don't need to prove anything to anybody here this morning. They are not the one who is going to heal you. Jesus is the one in the house. Don't be ashamed and don't feel. Don't look at anybody. Just look at yourself and see Jesus standing and sitting next to you. For some of you right now, I see Jesus just carrying you that, like that little baby that you are. And it's rocking you. It's rocking you. Literally rocking you. I see Jesus just holding you. I see Jesus putting his hand upon some man's shoulder. He said, I know you are macho. You don't want to be treated like a baby. And I see Jesus on your hands, on your shoulder. He's putting that hand over your shoulder. <coughs> and he's, he's saying, my son, I understand and I know 
that things are tough, but you are not going through this trip alone anymore. I want to walk with you if you just let me. And I know that relationship is not going the way you've already planned, but I want to walk with you. And I know that somebody here is, you, 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 you're just sleepless over your child, and I don't know that situation. I'm not talking about a general situation, but there's a particular case here that has kept you awake, and God is saying, and I'm, I'm with you right now. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so, lead you and to Jesus, I step aside, oh God, and I ask you, Lord, take full control. May every soul present here today experience a visitation that will never be taken from them. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Uh, we, I think